Welcome back to Dreamfall Chapters, Book 2. It's time to see what's going on with Zoe. Have we... have we met before? We will. We are meeting now. Venari Abnaxus et al. I am Abnaxus of the Venar. Oh, uh, hi, I'm Zoe of, um, the humans. Who's that? He will be Ular Pala, chief of the Ular. Those who remained, children of the Purple Mountains. Okay, this is a dream, right? It was. You dreamed of things else when. Of Abnaxus who was, and who will soon have passed beyond the veil and into the great forgetfulness. In the dream, I will speak of the time that has flowed, and the time that will still flow. But outside the dream, I will be sick. Okay. I don't really know what any of that really meant. So yeah, we did get to meet Abnaxus in The Longest Journey. Um, April got to meet him. And from what I remember, he's a being that does not experience time the way that we do. Time does not mean to him what it does to us. Now, what that actually means in practice, I have no idea. But uh, time is very fluid to him, I guess. I wonder if I should go speak to him? It? I don't think I want to just go walking off the edge here. I was like a petrified tree in the middle of a river, frozen in this moment, while time parts around me. Oh, apparently I can just go places. Well, it is a dream. Fair enough. I think he said his name is Abnaxus. So, why am I having this dream? You were needed. Achik, Aksik, Nabe, Ajna, Achik, Aksik. The first dreamer needs you. The first dreamer? Do I know the first dreamer? I'm thinking back to the longest journey. I, I don't. I can't remember. It wasn't April, was it? I really can't remember. How did he get over there so quickly? There's some sort of doorway into the mountain. This one is also sick. This one is dying. Looks Kamel. What does that mean? This one's name is Lux. This one is the first dreamer. This one is like you. Like your sister. Like those who did dream and shaped reality. Another dreamer? Wait, that, that wasn't real. That was... that was just another dream. Yes. And also much more. We needed you to come. You came. You will come here to help Lux. Everything depends on this. Everything that was, is, and will be. If this one ends, everything ends. All of time. Someone... someone else told me the same thing. What does it mean? 
This one is the first dreamer. This one dreams. And the dream is the universe. When the dream ends... W what's happening? W where are you going? Hey! Hey, come back! Tell me what's going on! Everything comes from his mind? <gasps> if he dies, everything will cease? Jesus. Zoe. Zoe. Are you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm okay. I'm fine. I, oh, I was just dreaming. You were crying out in your sleep. Nightmare. Do you want to talk about it? Uh, yes, it was, and uh, no, I don't. Oh. What time is it? Time for me to leave and for you to start getting ready for your doctor's appointment. Oh, I want to sleep. Yeah, well, too bad. See you later? Uh, sure. I'll stop by the office when I'm done. Okay. Love you. Mm, me too. Go to Dr. Roman's office at the Sashadri Sh 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 Tower for your appointment. Probably nothing new on TV from what I saw before in the last book. Yeah, I remember there wasn't that much to see in this place, surprisingly. Uh, where's Wonkers? Where's Wonkers gotten off to? Memories. I need those around. I'm not a demanding flatmate, but I did insist on buying a good bed. This is that. What time is it? I'm not going to bed. Well, no, but you could at least make the bed. Ah, who cares? Alright, should probably get dressed. Or not, I guess we're going out in our underwear. Much as I'd like to go out dressed in nothing but my knickers, I think I'll get dressed. Oh, is it here? Do I have to pee? No, nope. I don't have to pee. Oh, what? You don't want to do a David Cage? <laughs> you can always go to the bathroom in David Cage games. Do I have to pee? No, nope. I don't have to pee. Are my clothes here? Here they are, okay. Good old Propast. Citizen, halt. Hmm? Where are you going? Why? Answer the question or you will be detained. I have an appointment. The streets are unsafe. Return to your home or business to conduct your appointment remotely. I'm seeing my doctor. What is the name and business location of your doctor? I don't think there's any point in resisting. They have no right to ask for that information, but if I resist, they might put me on a watch list. Or Dr. Roman Zelenka. His office is in Sasadri Tower. You are Zoe Maya Castillo, a resident of Sonnenshine Plaza Terraces by OCG. Are you asking me a question? Stay off the streets, Miss Castillo. It's for your own protection. Sure it is. Proceed. Crowboy's here to help you find your way in Propast. That was strange. 
I remember last time we ended in the last book, there was somebody outside my building, right? Somebody, like, watching me. The eye in the sky reminds you that you're dream at Man, you look like you could need some directions. Oh, I got a hankering for giving you directions. Reza's office is down by Prista Vista, the old river docks, right behind the Collapse Memorial. I'm going to Seshadri Tower. That tallest tower in all the pro past. That'd be right here, sweetheart. I hope you get to where you're going. And if you ever get lost again, you know Crowboy's got your back. Looks like it's pretty close by. I'm probably still gonna get lost, though. So that's this way? Or is it the exact opposite way? That's not it. It's definitely not down this. Oh my god. <gasps> the eye in the sky Hello. So Is it me that. you're looking for? Hello, Rubber guys. animal found deflated and covered in guano. Comes with a piece of and string and some odd scribblings. <laughs> and bonkers is missing. Bonkers? Yeah, in case you don't know, this, um, this blue rubber ducky thing. That was a key piece of one of the most ridiculous puzzles in The Longest Journey. It was an insane puzzle, it was so stupid. It involved like... God, what did it even involve? Like putting something in the water and having it flow down a place and like uh, patching up a hole in the rubber ducky with something in like a bicycle pump maybe? To blow it up, I don't quite remember. Maybe some gum? Uh, it was weird. It was really weird. It looks like the police presence is very, uh, is much more dense than it was before. At least it feels like it. I feel like I'm going the wrong way. This area is under eye dominion. Please keep your head down and your eyes forward. Yeah, there's a lot more police. Jeez, what's happening? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've gone the wrong way. Let's check the map again. The is a it's been a while since I've navigated the city. Hey, you lost? No problem. I can give you directions to anywhere in Propath. Um, actually, it's behind Stay me, I think. Stay inside. Stay connected to your dream machines. This doesn't seem right either. Alright, it's a little bit hard to read the map, because it looks like if I go straight towards the direction where the map is, like this way, this is actually going south on the map, so it's kind of like reversed, I don't know, it's kind of weird. But it looks like I have to go around, because where I need to get is actually directly through here, but as you can see, it's obviously shut off, so... Down with the syndicate. Yeah, I think I have to go this way. All these dream junkies and police. Loitering is strictly forbidden in areas under oil. There's more police than people out here. The eye in the sky reminds you that loitering and unlicensed congregation in the streets is strictly illegal in areas under eye administration. Stay inside. Stay. Connected. So I think we need to go down to the dock. Stay safe. Oh wait, that's wait, that's shut off too. Well, crap. What? Okay, well, I'm gonna take a guess that because it seems like everywhere that I, like, almost every place is just shut off, access-wise, I'm gonna guess that the only way that I can go is probably the way that I'm supposed to go. So, let's try that. Okay, here we go, now we're at the docks. Yeah, he's somewhere around here. And you can be inside enjoying an infinite selection of dreams tailored to your desires. What is new? I think Reza's place is over that way. And the doctor's place is somewhere around here. Let's find another map. Reading close to the market area on the docks. 
where I talked to... What was her name? Queenie or something? Okay, I think we're close. Hmm. Might be visiting the boat again, because it looks like the rest of the market's shut off, but it looks like I could get to the boat if I wanted to. Is this the place? No, this isn't the place, but I'm curious. Who am I visiting? No one. Th that's who I'm visiting. Yeah? Oh, hi there, sir and tall madam. You have got to be fucking kidding me. How do you feel about your current insurance plan? I've warned you. Time and again, not to On a scale from 0 to 10, how satisfied are you with your insurance premium? Activate parameter defenses. You answered 0. I'm going to go ahead and offer you an incredibly good deal on workplace insurance for the low, low, low price of 20. Activate twin. defenses! Fry that mother judging rust bucket! Thank you for accepting this very generous offer for a lifetime workplace insurance package. Please repeat your full name to digitally sign the agreement with Original Consumer Goods and to begin enjoying your new insurance. Activate defenses now! Activate! Activate! Thank you for digitally signing your new lifetime insurance package. All sales are final and there are no refunds. Power on! Fry the fucker! Activate! Thank you, sir and or madam, and have a wonderful afternoon. Well, shitting shit. <laughs> The future. Access granted. This isn't where I'm supposed to go, is it? I don't think I'm going to find my doctor here. But uh, I guess I'll stop by. Blueprints of bots and what looks Tom, like neural what interfaces. What the fuck are you doing here today, Petal? I give you the day off. I expect you to take the day off. It's not like me to be so fucking generous. Nice to see you too, Mira. Hello, Wit. Leave the halfwit alone. He's busy. I'm sure he can speak for himself. Is that supposed to be a joke, Kutria? <laughs> no one fucks with Wit besides me. Don't ever forget that. What's up with your perimeter defense grid? What's wrong with it is that it doesn't work and needs to be fucking fixed. That's what's wrong with it. Of course, I just sold our last maintenance spot and I won't have another one ready for a couple of days. I might have to call a contractor to hire one of my own bots back. Once again, the gods shit in my face. Now get lost, I'm busy. So you don't want to chat then? Mira's like a really bitchy and neurotic version of my friend Liv from Casablanca. I miss Liv. She was the best. I know Mira took care of Wit when they were both children on the streets of Mumbai. She loves him, and I think he'd do pretty much anything for her. Okay, well, this doesn't get me any closer to finding the doctor. And, oh, oh, it's above me. There we go, found the way. It's up. Now I remember. Yeah, it's up here, right out front. There's the vendor that sold me the sausages or whatever that was. Okay, it's coming back to me. It's been like three or four months since the, the last book. And there... <laughs> there's the stuff I tried to repair with my bot friend that uh, didn't go so well. And there's the vendor, although here. her cart isn't here. Hey, I wasn't sure you'd make it today. What with the Panzer Pandu out in force? Say hello to our new robot overlords. It was touch and go. Were you waiting for me? I don't do apologies. Okay. What happened to Carl? Confiscated. 
After The Hand published their story about the collective and grey market imports, the district refused to renew my license and I refused to move. So those cowardly mecha cunts hold Carl away. Oh my god. Nella, I'm so, so sorry. Eh, not your fault. The sausages gave your chorbo the shits and he wrote a story about it. Mega chungo, but fair shake. <laughs> anyway, I will fight them, all the way to the top. The legal wheels are turning. But this isn't why I wanted to talk to you. Last week. When you bumped into me outside the collective, I was confrontational. I didn't mean to be. You don't do apologies, Nella. You're right, so shut up and accept it. Accepted. So why were you confrontational? Paranoia, Zozo. I'm just on edge with this party business. No big deal. Party business? Oh, she must mean the Marxists. I'm curious to know what's got her so on edge. What's going on? <sighs> Manifesto starting to come apart at the seams. Too many conflicts of interests. Ribas is having a tough time keeping everyone in line. There's no consensus about strategy, about what to do to get people to open their eyes and see what's really going on in this city. Some want to keep doing what we have been doing. Peaceful protests, debate, passing out pamphlets. Others want to take more radical action. Like what? It's politics, Zozo. You know how it is. The hardest part is agreeing on a common agenda. I'm not sure it matters. We're last in the polls and it'll take a miracle to change that. But anyway. You were asking me about Hannah Roth. I'm looking for her. Why? Oh, it's complicated. Queenie, you know, the babka on the boat down Sure, the... everyone knows her. Queenie asked me to look for Hannah, to find out if she's okay or not okay, I guess. Why the hell would she be asking you? Campaign business. I'm trying to get her to officially support Leia Uminska. Ah, it's all starting to make sense. Do you know Hannah? She runs errands for merchants in Propast, does odd jobs for anyone willing to pay. She's helped me out a few times, deliveries mostly, and also... Well, that's how I know Hannah. But I don't know where she lives. I don't know who her friends are, I don't know how to get hold of her. So, why...? She runs a gang, all homeless girls, the Dragonflies. They operate out of the underground here in Propast. They do odd jobs, legit jobs, but also other jobs. Like crime. Like crime, Zozo. Pickpocketing, fencing, smuggling, selling unlicensed dreams. Drugs. Keep an eye out for the dragonfly symbol and the girl with short pink hair and piercings. That'll be Hannah. Oh, I appreciate it, Nella. I'm sorry about getting involved in your affairs last week. And good luck getting Carl back. We'll be back in business before you know it. They can't keep the people down. Time to go squeeze some government testicles until they release my food cart. I hope you find Hannah. Alright, short pink hair and dragonfly symbol. Gotcha. How are things between you and Reza? They're... okay. Just okay. Rocky. And... how do you feel about that? Nothing's changed. I love Reza. We're having a tough time, but it's worth fighting for, right? Things are rougher than they were. It's not like we fight every day, but it's... tense. We're circling each other. Honestly, I don't know. I take the time you need to understand your feelings. I will. In our last session... Last week. Last week, you said you want to remember. Right. About what happened before the coma. Yeah. Is that still the case? I haven't changed my mind. I need to go back before I can move forward. I want to remember. Yep. Okay. Good. I think it's right of you to focus on remembering. I believe it will help you... wake up. W wake up? W what do you mean? I, I am awake. 
Oh, wait, sorry, I I'm getting a call. Do you need to take it? Uh, it's, it's just Baruti, my campaign manager. I'm, I'm sure it can wait. Sorry about that. Where were we? D what did you mean by waking up? Are you sleeping well? Uh, no, not really, no. And why is that? I, I dream. A lot. They're very vivid dreams. Lucid. Not like... like normal dreams at all. Do you remember these dreams? Okay, this is getting strange. What does he mean, wake up? Hmm. I think my dreams are important. If I talk about them, maybe Roma can help me figure them out. Yeah, they're... they're almost always the same. There's a temple in the clouds, surrounded by tall mountains, all misty and white. There's a strange, um, man who speaks in riddles and... and an ape-like creature on a... a floating chair. I know, it's odd, it, it's crazy. What else? There's a child, or... I don't know, it looks like a child. She... Or he is very ill. If the child dies, the dream ends. We all vanish. All of us? Everything. The, the universe, reality. What does it mean? I'm not sure. Do you think your dreams are related to your memory loss? Crazy as that may seem, I feel they do. Maybe not literally, as in I've forgotten meeting a floating ape creature, but there's something there that's strangely familiar. Yeah, well, you know. They may be a signal that some memories are beginning to re-emerge. You think so? Dreams are never just dreams. They can be mirrors, reflecting our darkest fears and deepest desires. They can provide us with clues to who we are. They can... Stir memories. But let's leave that for next week. Our time is up. Today was another step forward, Zoe. Regardless of what you do or do not remember, I want you to think about what I said. About working on your memories. About remembering. You really should write down your dreams, you know. It will help you remember. I should head out. Leave you to your note-taking. Always taking notes. That's me. See you next week, Zoe. Same time, same place. You betcha. I thought we agreed you wouldn't show up at my office. I am not comfortable with this. She just left, by the way. Hey, you probably passed her on the way in. She would have seen you. I'm a ghost, Dr. Zelenka. People do not see me unless I let them. What have you learned? Well, she wants to remember. And will she? I don't know. Eventually, probably. You know what to do if she does. You've made that very clear. What else would you like to tell me today? She's not sleeping well. It's her dreams. She used the words vivid and lucid. She told me about one recurring dream. I'm not sure what to make of it, but maybe your employer? Something about a temple in the clouds. Mountains. Riddles, talking apes. Uh, if it wasn't for the fact that she detests dream machines, I'd say she'd been using one. Oh, and she also said something about a sick child. If the child dies, the dream ends. Everything ends. Miss Castillo has a very vivid imagination. I doubt it means anything, but there you are. Your doubts, Dr. Zelenka, have been noted. In your professional opinion, is she starting to remember? Not unless she did go to a temple in the clouds to meet talking apes. That is all. Thank you, Doctor. Uh, how much longer will I need to do this? Without us, you would have nothing. Do you not want it to continue? I... Until she remembers. Until then. And if that never happens? Then we terminate. Good day to you, Dr. Zelenka.
I just paid the doctor a visit. He tells me she has her mind set on remembering what occurred last year. Yes, Zelenka does believe she will remember in time. There's another thing we just learned. She has vivid dreams, as you said she would. She spoke to him about it. The doctor mentioned a temple in the clouds, mythical creatures, riddles. I'm sending you the recording. She described these dreams to him as particularly vivid, almost like visions. Yes, lucid dreaming without a dream machine. Sehr gut, Fräulein. I will contact you immediately if I hear anything else. I have ears in all places. The moment she remembers, we will know. I was worried about that. They don't want me to remember. And they're muscling my therapist to make sure that keeps tabs on me. Sorry, I was with my therapist when you called earlier. Hey, Sissy. Uh, no worries. Can we meet? I'm not working today, so absolutely. Should I come by the campaign office? Let's meet somewhere else. I'm by the river, right next to the memorial fountain in Bristol. You look like you could need uh, some directions, uh, miss. Yeah? Sh sure. W when? Now? Uh, whenever you're available. I'll be there. All right. Uh, see you soon. Thankfully, I actually know where that is. Yeah, so we need to find Hannah Roth. Oh yeah, I need to go check in with Reza, the hand that feeds. And meet Baruti. Alright, bunch to do. Also, by the way, has Zoe been updating her journal? I need to check. Because if I don't get on that early, it's going to be... Her journal's going to get clogged up like it did before. And then it'll be like, oh my god, there's ten journal entries to read. Let's take a look. Hold on. But your dreams it's allowed. Um, you can make your inner be this is stuff I read before, right? Dreams, to your what is new dream oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna re try to read that later. There's way too much noise here. You know, this future world is almost as if the entire world became one gigantic obnoxious flash ad, you know? With just like flashing images and sound effects and crap. Except now it's everything. Not like himself at all. Thanks for coming, Sissy. Of course. Well, what's up? I found something. A uh, discrepancy. Pointing to our campaign, to unity, to Leia Uminska. What sort of discrepancy? This is why I wanted to meet you outside. I don't know if they have the office under surveillance, if they're monitoring my iris or my wire access. Seriously? What's going on? I don't know yet, but I need to find out. My contact at Bokamba Mesa came across transactions between the Syndicate and Unity. There's money being funneled into our campaign from places money shouldn't be coming from. Corporate money. It could be just a, a, a misunderstanding. There might be a good explanation for it, but it could also be serious. It could be serious. So I need to dig deeper. The trouble is, I don't know if they're watching me. I, I can't risk it. I wouldn't be asking if it wasn't important, Sissy. Look, if Leia Uminska is taking bribes, or worse, I want to know. So, what is it you need me to do? Access Unity servers and download the data. How exactly am I going to do that? Just log in with my iris and wire ID? The eye would be onto you in minutes, Sissy. No. You'll need a rogue data sniffer and a government-grade black mask protocol. And you'll need to use multiple accounts and access points to transfer all the data. Stay logged in for too long in one location. They could pin you down. Look, 
I completely understand if you say no. It is illegal, and it can get us both into a lot of trouble. Uh, I gotta do it. I don't have all the information yet. Where did Baruti learn about this? Why was he digging into the campaign finances? Let's, let's dig a little bit further before I accept it, though. How did you come across this information? My contact at Wakamba Mesa has access to syndicate data streams. I asked him to keep an eye out for certain keywords and names. It's a bit ironic in hindsight, but I've been looking for any piece of dirt I could find on Konstantin Wolf and European Dawn. Last week, my contact got in touch. He'd found something odd. Large donations to a political non-profit in Europolis. I told him to put a trace on it. Yesterday, he messaged me again to tell me he was out. He discovered a link, but it wasn't what any of us expected. There were records of a series of encrypted transactions between the Syndicate and Unity. And Uminsk. My contact was worried about the implications. He wanted nothing to do with it, which is understandable. He did provide me with enough information to get started. Network addresses, logins. If we can grab the data, I can analyze it, find the evidence I need to, to, to do whatever comes next. Hopefully evidence of no wrongdoing. Maybe someone's trying to falsely implicate Unity. It wouldn't be the first time. I can't believe Uminska would take corporate payoffs. I mean, not her. I trusted her. Completely. I do have reservations, but I don't want to work for a crooked campaign. If something's going on, we need to find out. Yeah, we have to know. I'll do it. Where do I begin? Before he jumped ship, my contact made an anonymous drop with all the information we need. I can't risk transmitting it to you, even locally, in case they're monitoring my iris. I've put everything on this crypto coin. Wire addresses, shadow accounts. Use this to transfer the data back to me after you're done. Now, before you get started, you'll need a rogue data sniffer and a black mask protocol. You know just the right person for that. Mira, pandemonium. Mm -hmm. While you're acquiring the data, I'll go to the office to join a remote campaign meeting. If they're somehow alerted to the intrusion, I'll have an alibi. We'll have time to pull out and cover our tracks. Cover our tracks? <sighs> Jesus, this is really happening. <laughs> it's happening. I'll contact you later and let you know where to meet me. I don't know how long it'll take, but I'll do my best. All right, let's go meet Reza. Hey, Sully. Zoe. You're a sight for tired old eyes on this infernal day. I do hope you're not here with another delivery of sausages. <laughs> I fear for Reza's life if he has to go through that ordeal again. The poor boy has the stomach of a newborn lamb. There's no proof it was the pork sausages, Sully. Besides, you guys already got Nella's cart confiscated. No more organic meat for anyone. It was in the public's best interest. My friend's out of work and the collective's out of business. Would you rather they kept selling their contaminated meat? I'm truly sorry about your friend, but it was newsworthy. I just feel really guilty bringing it to your attention. Let's not talk about it now. So, dear girl, is this a social call or a professional one? Just saying hello? It's my day off and I was in the neighborhood. A social call? Those are my favorite calls. I'm glad you took the time to see me today. How are you, Fistic? Yeah, good. Good. I'm, I'm good. One more good and you'll have me convinced. Ah, uh, I don't want to overdo it, but I really am good. No, I don't believe you at all. And how's work? Mira gave me the day off because I don't actually know. She's probably up to something and wanted me out of her hair. How about you? Well, 
The world's falling apart around us, and we're quite possibly facing an armed curfew in a few days, so I'm fantastic. You know, the more people stay inside, the more time they have on their hands, the more they need us to provide them with news. To tell the truth, I'd prefer slightly less drama and slightly fewer battlesuits in the streets, but the cynical newsman in me rejoices. <laughs> I thought you were all cynical newsmen. Age has a way of smoothing the sharp edges, my dear. But I am honestly concerned. I don't fully understand what's happening. The Syndicate's reasons are unclear, the government's gone into full communication lockdown, and no one's talking. It's a dangerous mess. Elections do bring out the worst in people. You think the eye's increasing security because of the elections? I do not. Something else is afoot. They want the people to stay indoors. They want everyone logged into dream time. They want no eyes on the street. And this does worry me. Look, I have my worried face on. It's a very worried face. Anyway, I'm off. You're a breath of fresh air, Fistic. Come by any time. I love that they keep bringing up that my choice of lunch had repercussions. <laughs> Truly the hardest decision in the entire game. I remember when I made that decision to bring him sausages instead of something else that was more... Like, more, uh, less daring. I remember when I made that decision, I wondered, is this, like, it said something like this could have consequences or whatever. You know, it was like a big decision. But I was wondering, is it really going to have consequences? And you know what? It did. They delivered. Hey there. Hey, what are you up to? Oh, this and that. How are things here? Any inside information on our burgeoning police state? I wish. Everyone wants answers. Why have the Syndicate sent in the big guns? Why isn't the government saying anything? It's a mess. One of those exosuits got in my face this morning, asked me where I was going. I thought about not answering, but I chickened out. Probably a good idea. Call me a coward, but I didn't want to argue with someone carrying an assault rifle. We really thought the clampdown would be a temporary thing, a, a, a show of force, but... I heard rumours about a curfew. Well, it's possible. I mean, why else would they send in Robocop? Robocop? The exosuits. Outside of active war zones, I've never seen so many of them in one place. And we're in Propass, not Washington, D.C. So, yeah, we're still trying to get to the bottom of it. But this thing goes deep. If anyone can, it'll be you guys. So, uh... So... Uh... What, what were you... Did you... No, no, you, you go first. No, go ahead. No, it was nothing, really. What are you up to? I'm doing a favour for Baruti. Some campaign stuff. In fact, I should probably go and do that thing that I'm supposed to be doing. Okay. I should work. There's, a uh, there's stuff... to do. What about dinner? How about I get some really spicy sausages? We usually get a takeaway. Maybe we should go out. Last time we did that was in Trieste. Feels like ages ago. Last time we ate at home, Reza cooked, but I don't feel like cooking, and I'm not going to ask him to make dinner. Reza was the last to cook dinner, so it is my turn. But honestly, I'm sure he'd prefer eating his own food. Well, I'll take my turn making food. It's my turn to cook. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Could you at least pretend to be happy about that? <laughs> it's not... Zoe, it's not about your cooking. Sometimes I feel you're not particularly open to new things. I get you something new for lunch, you hate it. You're blaming me for getting sick. How do you know it was the pork sausages? Maybe it was, I don't know, your risotto. Uh, I was vomiting all night. I don't think the risotto... Whatever. I wanted you to challenge yourself. That was a terrible idea. We should just stick with the same old. And then maybe Nayla would still be in business. <laughs> Don't blame me for the fact that she bought illegal contaminated organic meat and let her license expire. You didn't have to write an article about it. Why well, instead let a dodgy importer continue to sell dangerous food? Besides, this isn't even about that. This is about you forcing your choices on me. 
Are you saying I'm controlling? No, but I think you need to consider that your choice may not be the only choice. Oh, forget it. This is neither the time nor the place. We'll talk later. Yeah, later. Look, I need to run. Message me, okay? We'll figure out dinner. Fine. Okay, our relationship's over. Yep, it's broken. Nope, not gonna work. All right, let me check my, check my diary, now that there's not too much noise. Mm, want to be Queenie. So this one I'm almost certain I read, because this is talking about... Whoa, holy crap. Um, mm, 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 mm. How did that girl know my name? Yeah, so that's from before. This is definitely from before, and this is probably... Wait, 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 no, this one is new. Okay, yeah, so this one is new. Hello, hot Europolis Monday. You suck. Mira's given me the day off today for... reasons. Reasons I probably don't want to know about. But I'm not complaining. Okay, sure, it means less money at the end of the week. But a day of wandering aimlessly about doing absolutely nothing? Win. Of course, I do have therapy first thing, and we all know how I feel about that. Aside from the chance to gaze at Roman's lovely head of hair, it is very lovely. I'm tired of talking, talking, talking about myself. I can't even imagine how he feels about it. I'm sure there'll be questions about Reza and me, or maybe I'm just paranoid because ugh, I don't want to talk about Reza and me right now. I don't know what's going on between us, but it's not good. It's dysfunctional. And it's depressing. It's sad to think that after all we've been through, Reza and I, it might just end with nothing. But history is not enough of a reason to stick together. So I guess we'll see. In the meantime, day off. Yes! Yay, I get to spend my day off arguing with my boyfriend and doing very illegal things that might get me arrested. What a fun day off. Alright, so we need to go see Mira. And of course also find Hannah Roth. Although that's something that's just gonna happen naturally. I'll see a symbol or I'll see somebody with bright pink hair. Something I can't exactly force. So let's keep an eye out for the symbols. She doesn't have pink hair, but it is one of them. Her running animation looks really weird. What are you doing? The sewers? Or whatever that goes to? The girl used the hatch to go underground. There's a notch on the side. Hmm? Oh, it's a special key, isn't it? Well, I don't have the tool, but uh, maybe Mira would have it. It won't budge. There's a lock. I think I need the right tool to open this. Yeah. Oh wait a minute! I went past Mira's place, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Pandemonium. just tell you to get lost? What do you want? I need your help. Come again? Did I just hear what I think I heard? A 
favor. I need a favor. That's what I thought I heard. This ought to be good. I need to log into a server and download some data without getting caught. caught. Easy. Why? I'd rather not tell you what I... Pass. I'm... I, I can't really say because... Pass. Seriously? You're not going to do me this one favor after everything I've done? You mean the paid work you've done for me? God, Bunchod. No. No, I'm not. Not unless you tell me why. Oh, fine. My friend Baruti, the guy running the Uminska campaign. Uminska campaign. The Social Democrat Todors. Yes, I know. Get on with it. Baruti has some... some suspicions. He asked me to log into their servers and download... Data? Evidence? No problem. You need a sniffer and a cloak. One second. Done. Done? Try moving your fingers. Moving my... Just do it, Kutreya. Good. No loss of motor function. M motor? What you... My software is integrated into your iris HUD. Use your place. Look for the skull and crossbones. Use that to locate secure wire singularities. You'll need to connect to multiple nodes to download all the data. But don't stay too long in one spot, or you might get caught. Oh, and don't expect it to work indoors. Too much interference. Come back after you've procured the data, and I'll decrypt it for you. And if I don't? It's your data, technically. I'm just offering to help. Of course, no one else can break the encryption, so there's that. You don't have a choice. No ulterior motives? None. Now scoot. I have work to do and you're distracting wit. That retard can't focus with all your nattering. God, bitch. I heard that. <laughs> Good. I'll call you up as soon as you activate the sniffer. But you'll need to do that outside. Too much interference inside. Alright, and while I'm here, let me see if I can find a tool to open up that hatch. Maybe there's one just, like, lying on a table. Hmm, not looking good. Nah, I don't think it's gonna happen. Mira buys a lot of these discarded bots. It's her core business, reselling refurbished bots to businesses all over Europolis. The eye in the sky watches so you don't have to. Help us help you. Okay, well, I think I'll end this episode here before it becomes too long. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'll do some illegal data retrieval.